could be more rough weather this week. Conditions are right for some destructive storms, so we sent Manuel Bohorkas to Norman, Oklahoma to find out how the experts are tracking them. This was the scene in parts of Kansas yesterday. It's only the beginning, says Bill Bunting, the operations chief at the Storm Prediction Center. All hazards are possible. Tornadoes, damaging winds, and very large hail. He says the Midwest, South, and Central Plains should brace for a week of potentially dangerous weather. We have a tornado right there. The forecast comes from here, the center's war room, where meteorologists track the systems and make predictions. What have you learned about the science of predicting weather that has allowed you to make better forecasts? Well, I think key has been the understanding of how storms develop and what environments are most favorable for, say, tornadic thunderstorms versus those that don't produce tornadoes. It starts with a strong jet stream from the northwest colliding with a surge of moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. But scientists have discovered another clue. Shifts in winds below the jet stream ahead of a storm can help predict severe weather. When those winds are particularly strong and exhibit a certain change in speed and direction with height, those are days that we can hone in on as saying those storms in, in that particular area will have a higher risk of producing tornadoes. With a high risk tomorrow, have a significant severe weather situation. Online briefings with emergency officials in the region are well underway. The threat of severe weather here goes through the week and into the weekend. Scott officials plan to issue blunt warnings. Instead of a simple take shelter, people may hear phrases like mobile homes will be destroyed and flying debris will be deadly. Manuel Bohorkas at the Severe Storms Forecast Center, Norman, Oklahoma. Manuel, thanks.